Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. And I hope that the snow didn't get you that bad. We probably have, I want to say, 17 inches, 16, 17 inches, somewhere out there. Spent all afternoon shoveling the driveway out. So today we are going to be making mini composition journals. These are the cutest things ever. Um, pretty quick and easy to make. So there's the one. And then they have a pocket in the side and then you have some embellishments on them. And then they also have a bookmark inside. And then a pocket in the back with more embellishments. And then there's the back. So we have a couple of them made. So let's get started. Okay, to, to make this project, <coughs> you are going to need a composition book. I get these at Walmart. They're three for 88 cents. And they measure, let's see, about four and a quarter by three, three and a quarter. So four and a quarter by three and a quarter. You're also going to need some scrapbook paper. Um, this one I got, we got from um, scrapbook.com. You can also pick it up at Michael's. Joann's has them. And we also use some from this one, which is the Five Seasons. And it's got some pretty cool paper in there for everything that's up <laughs> going around <coughs> for the holidays. All right, to get started, you are going to need two pieces of paper. These are going to be measured two and three fourths by four and a half. And if it's directional, make sure the direction is going the correct way for the way you want it to go on the on your journal. You are also going to need for the side pocket. This is one and three fourths by four and a half. I have also embellished the side with a pair of scissors. Um, they also have punchers that you can use. Um, there's a whole bunch of different stuff you can use. You also need a three by one and three fourths piece of paper. I did embellish the one side. And then you're going to need some stuff to decorate. Um, these are the cut aparts from. Um, the book, the uh, scrapbook binders. Usually, there's one or two pages of those in each pack of a uh, pack of scrapbook paper, and then you're also going to need a bookmark. We hole punch the top, and we'll decorate the top with some ribbon in a little bit. So the first step you're going to need to do is you're going to take your double-sided tape and you are going to tape around the outside. You don't have to tape the black binding. And then once you get it on, you're going to take off the tape, the backing of the tape.
And then when that's done, you're going to take one of your two and three fourths by four and a half, and you are going to lay it on the top. like that and then you're gonna flip it and you're gonna do the same thing to the back put your tape on all four sides of your composition book and take off the backing And then you're going to line it up and you're going to put the other piece down, which is the two and three fourths times four and a half. Just like that. Now the next step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your hole punch, your corner cutter, and cut your corners. Or you can just take your scissors and trim. you round your corners one more corner to you bam all right now that you got that done We are going to open it up and we're going to put the one and three fourths times four and a half for the side pocket. So we're going to put it there. So we are going to put some of this double sided tape on. Just like that. And once you got that on, we're going to peel. You only want to do three sides with the tape because this side is going to be our pocket, the side that we have embellished. Now you can do these any way you want. I mean, you can embellish them. You can do it without the pocket. You the same thing we did in the front on the back. <clears throat> Possibilities are endless. All right. So we're going to line it up. And put it on. And we have a pocket. I am going to go ahead and trim my corners just like that. And then there's our pocket. And for the back, we are going to put the three times one and three fourths pocket right here on the bottom.
Now with this one, we didn't go all the way to the end of our back cover all the way here because when you close it, it was it gets it a little difficulty closing. So we left it out a little bit so it would close a little easier. double-sided tape on, on at three sides, leave this one open, just like that, and then you work, we are going to like that. That's what it looks like for now. So cute. Valentine's Day. Okay, so for the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little embellishment on the front. I think I'm going to use that one on the front. So then you're just going to take your tape. And go around. The outside. We get our double-sided tape from the Dollar Tree because it's dollar. Um, you can get it at Hobby Lobby. You can get it at Joann's. Walmart has it too. You're going to peel off the back of your double-sided tape. Fold over any sticking over tape towards the back. Then you're going to center it and lay it just like that. So then we're going to put some of these cut aparts in our pockets. This is the way you want. Um, you don't have to put them in there. You can. I think they're cute with it in there. And the next step we are going to do is we are going to take our ribbon. Um, or you can use string, uh, the, you can use whatever you think you would like. Or whatever you think the person you're making this for would like. And you're just going to tie a knot. Leave those hang. Voila. We're going to add a bookmark too to this. So we have one of our cut aparts. We just put a hole punch, did a hole punch hole in it. And we're going to take more of our ribbon. it to 
to our bookmark. You can make these as long as you want. You can go all out and make pom-poms. Let your creativity flow. So there we go. Stick that in there. If you would like, you could file the court, the sides down or the corners. that and I'm gonna add some rhinestones I think to it right in the middle right there and I will put one up in the top corner just like that and there you have it little composition book great gift for your Valentine And there is our bookmark. I want to thank you for joining me today. And I hope everybody stays warm. We're expecting more snow, four to seven more inches tonight with lake effect. So I hope everybody stays safe, warm. Please like and subscribe. And we will see you guys later. Have a good night.